is going on? Ooh, so someone could be alone in isolation. So someone could be in hermit mode. We have marching. So you could have given someone their marching orders or somebody wants to come marching towards you. Um, with the marching, that could be like... Um, uh, it could be someone in the military, it doesn't have to be, but someone in the military or like a law enforcement position could be significant. There's something significant about a computer or technology and somebody using technology to do something. Um, it could be to watch another person um, spying on them. They could have been doing something illegal on the computer or shady. I know the last reading I did, it had to do with, like, prostitution and sex trafficking, so someone could have some questionable things on their computer. Someone could be in hermit mode, they could be afraid that um, something uh, is going to come back and bite them in the ass, that they're going to get caught for something, because someone doesn't have a victory here. Um, someone could have thought they were going to have a victory when they did something very impatient. So somebody did something, um, this could be like a catfishing scam, this could be anything, but I'm strongly getting that this is something related to some form of technology and, and accounts, multiple accounts or profiles and IP addresses. I'm hearing ghost IP addresses. Somebody can't be still. Aquarius could be significant here. Um, but somebody can't be still. Someone is very restless. And we have uh, provide in the reverse. So Taurus energy. So we have Aquarius and Taurus energy here. Someone's restless. They can't provide something. There's a lack. Um, maybe it's because they can't provide some sort of proof or evidence. Or... Um, they did something because they were having difficulty providing possibly for themselves so somebody could have been low on finances or money and so somebody could have been doing something very shady to gain money we have a couple friends here um, that look very comfortable with each other without their shirts on you know that hang out a lot and there's somebody who's reporting back to someone. So there's someone who's telling someone a secret or um, providing somebody with information. I'd like to grab a couple more cards before I elaborate on that one. So there's talk within a group. There's information being exchanged within a group here with a band. Um, so there's a group of people here that are coming together trying to do something. And there's talk and there's information being exchanged. And this is regarding a couple of friends. Um, they could have been associated with this group at one time. There's talk about a partnership within a group. So there's a partnership within a group that people are discussing and that something is planted, something is grounded, um, someone may need to get grounded, um, or somebody who wants to partner up with a Divine Femme or Masculine sees them as very grounded and stable, but it's like something is planted firm and it's not moving, so somebody, somebody's standing firm, possibly on coming into a union or working with someone. So we have a couple guys here that were trying to blend in with a group, blend in with the crowd, and one was, there's somebody here who is in isolation, so there could have been a couple people here that were blending in with a crowd or a group to watch somebody who is in isolation or keep somebody in isolation. Yeah, there's somebody here who's reflecting about a family, so there's a family unit here and there's a reflection, so there's reflecting going on regarding a family and why they're stuck, why they can't move. Um, I'm just getting like stuck, stuck, stuck. So there's like a family here that could be stuck. 
somebody made a, a deal. So there was a deal that was made within these couple, of, uh, this group here. <clears throat> and there's two friends here. Um, it doesn't have to be just two, but there's a partnership that happened here. And someone's taking a moment to reflect about partnering up with someone, but there's a barrier in the path. So there is a union. Someone is watching. They want to come into union with another person, but there's barriers standing in the way here. And it could be that this person was partnered up with another person to watch, to spy, to monitor them. Um, I mean, that's been coming out a lot. Um, where, like, somebody's friend, you know, somebody was doing something really shady to somebody, and their friend or someone that they know has, you know, wanted to hook up with a divine femme or masculine. Um, so let's get in here and see if we can't get a little further information about who's involved in this. So we have a new cycle. So um, a cycle needed to be closed out so something new could begin. So there's a new cycle here. And financial stability is protected. So in this new cycle, someone's financial stability is going to be protected and they're going to have a victory. This is a yes card. There was an imbalance created by an injustice because of somebody's addiction or obsession with the devil card here. Um, about stopping someone's money or finances. This person was not caring and compassionate. You could have worked with this person. So somebody could have acted like they wanted to work with another person so that they could stop them or hinder them from making money or something in some sort of way. This person was not compassionate. Um, this could even be a parental figure, a mother figure, father figure. This could be somebody who um, was working really hard and that was addicted or obsessed with stopping somebody from making money. And they created an imbalance for this person, for somebody who was in the upright. But something's being brought to light with the hermit. Yeah, somebody sent a message about somebody who was not being compassionate or caring, somebody that worked really hard to stop someone's money. So there's communication going on within a group of people about what a couple people were doing within a group. So there could be a couple people, if they were part of a group, there could be a group of people here that's walking away from them. They may not want to work with them anymore. Yeah, because someone was addicted or obsessed with keeping somebody stuck in an emotional situation. It's like somebody wanted to keep someone stuck in their emotions, all tore up. Um, possibly even um, from being able to think straight, move forward. Um, I'm hearing trauma. So someone was a thief. So somebody was keeping somebody in a very traumatic state of mind so that they could steal something from them. And this is coming to an end. This is an end to this. This is the death of this thief. It could be a literal death or it could just be a death to the situation of this person causing conflict for a divine femme or masculine. And then we have an empress here. And somebody was causing a lot of heartbreak by trying to stop somebody from moving forward by placing heavy burdens on them. And this was an addiction. This was an obsession for somebody. And this could have been a mother figure that did this, um, you know, with the Empress energy here. Even though it's in the upright, all the other cards are in the reverse. So that could just mean that this person is still in your energy. But there's somebody here that was addicted and obsessed. There's a lot of conflict that's breaking out. This came out sideways. So within this group, there's a lot of talk information being exchanged. 
and there's a lot of fighting going on with the five of wands here there's a lot of fighting going on within a group of people and somebody's scared because secrets are going to be exposed scorpio energy with the moon card here there's an ending <coughs> the death to something and something's being exposed so there's a lot of conflict within a group because there's some sort of secret that's being revealed that can out you know that's just confirmation of the hermit card with something being brought to light or being exposed and there's communication so there's communication regarding um, whatever secret that's being exposed and this caused a fighting um, a lot of conflict like it could get physical So there was a partnership, somebody, somebody's past partner or somebody that another person, a divine femur masculine was in union with that was causing heavy burdens, causing heartbreak. And this person was obsessed with keeping somebody stuck and traumatized. There's a judgment here, the king of swords and judgment when I split the deck here. So there could be a judgment going in someone's favor, someone who's in the upright, because something is coming or is, is in motion with the chariot energy something is moving there's communication so there's communication in the upright here and the chariot so there's communication that is going on so that i feel like this is actively going on not just within a group that are fighting with each other but there's somebody who wants to communicate something and this could be to an empress energy who is in the upright There was a big financial imbalance that was caused. And when the truth is exposed about what somebody's ex did. So this could have been an empress who had, um, you know, uh, I want to say an abusive ex, I guess. And this person was addicted and obsessed with causing this person to have no finances, to be stuck, um, to be trapped mentally. There's a king of wands here in the knight of pentacles, so there could be a king of wands, um, someone who's in a leadership position, that could be traveling towards an empress with finances, or with information regarding finances. I'm hearing a business opportunity, so there could be a king of wands who may want to offer an empress a, a position, like a job. somebody was being really sneaky the end of this sneaky shit is over somebody somebody being stealthy sneaky whoever you were in a partnership with um the truth is being exposed about this person and this community is finding out about what this person has done to you behind the scenes okay um maybe they believed this past person that you were in a union with because maybe they thought they were trustworthy, but the Ace of Wands in the reverse, there was a key piece of information here, of knowledge. Um, this person was trying to keep everyone from finding out some big piece of information uh, about what they did to a Divine Femme energy here in Empress. And there's someone in a leadership position that's finding out about what happened. And they're not happy. We have a King of Cups here. Who has a clean slate, a new start. So we can have a King of Cups here that wants to have a clean slate with someone. And a King of Pentacles. Oh, there's a lot of energies. Okay, I literally have King of Wands. King of Cups, and then I have the King of Pentacles taking a moment to reflect. There's a pause. So there's a King of Pentacles here. This could be a wealthy masculine businessman. Um, and then we have the King of Cups in the upright. Usually there's somebody who is emotionally balanced, stable, um, you know, very loving person. We have the King of Wands who's very compassionate, protective. Um, sometimes they can get a little restless, you know, they don't like to sit still for too long. Um, but they're a natural born leader. 
so there's a king of pentacles here there's somebody who could be a wealthy masculine who is reflecting about someone who was not held in high honor somebody did made a decision to do something that was very dishonorable very despicable so there, i feel like the, these masculines are all part of a group of people and notice there's three masculines three people Okay, so we have a leader, businessman, so we have all kinds of leaders here, so, and then someone who's caring, compassionate, and then someone who's trying to, you know, protect their peace, their energy. This could be you, this could be a divine femme energy, who's trying to protect your peace from all the conflict that's going on. And then we have this karmic person. We have a karmic relationship here that was expecting to get some sort of new start or new beginning. And they were worried about their financial stability. So there's a karmic here that only cared about themselves, what they could get. They thought they were going to have a new start, a new beginning by creating a financial imbalance for a divine femme. And they're not moving on to calmer waters. Something is being stopped. There's communication that something is going to be put to a stop or something is over. Somebody placed themselves under judgment. Let's see if we can't find out some more information on who is doing what. So someone has placed themselves under judgment and they can't move forward. Something's not moving for them. So this could be somebody that was trying to stop a divine femme from trying to move forward. There's an investigation here. There's someone who's spying or watching an empress, okay? And there were people working together behind the scenes with the moon card here in the reverse. So these people that were working together, these friends that were trying to stop some sort of movement or motion for for happening um for that we're trying to stop some sort of movement to happen for this empress they place themselves under judgment because there's a lot of talk going on regarding what people are witnessing so there's someone who's watching or spying or there could there could be an active investigation or there's going to be and there's a lot of talk about what happened to an empress because somebody rushed in, um, well, this isn't the Knight of Swords, but um, with the Page of Swords, I, I feel like somebody rushed in quickly to do something really shady with some lies, and that is these friends. So these friends here lied, sent a message, or lied regarding some sort of communication, and they don't have a positive outcome. The communication was meant to betray an empress. And they don't have a positive outcome. They didn't want an empress to have a positive outcome. And someone's pissed off. So someone is really pissed off and in their emotions about these this group of people meeting up and talking about what's going on. So this could actually be somebody within the group who's pissed off about finding out what happened to an empress and a betrayal. And someone who thought they were going to get a positive outcome from this. Because someone's in their life's calling. Someone's working on building a legacy. And these people who are working together were trying to stop a divine femme from accomplishing something. All because they only cared about their financial stability. All they cared about was affecting a, a divine femme's financial stability here. And now someone's in despair. So this person who... These people who are working together are in despair because you're going to have a happy ending like a ten of cups you're going to have a happy family stability you know happy family um a stable family a union coming together possibly and you have a positive outcome and there's a decision to be made there's a crossroads so there's a decision that needs to be made or that's going to be made and it's going to result in a positive outcome
Yeah, because somebody went towards another person, made them a bullshit slippery offer. This is somebody that you were in a relationship with. And now someone's juggling finances. The Divine Femme is juggling finances because of this bullshit offer that was meant to, to betray them, to rob them, to steal from them. I'm hearing we three kings. So these three masculines that are meeting up and talking, they're very powerful masculines. And someone could see you as the queen of wands here, empress. Somebody who is a natural born leader. And somebody who's trying to stop you from having a new start or a new beginning. And somebody wants to partner up with you. There's a king of cups here. And you're, you're going to get your new start, your new beginning. Um, this could also be a, um, a large lump sum of money, settlement. Um, doesn't have to be. But it's like someone's going from the Two of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have a new start, a beautiful happiness, a beautiful family, happy family. And you have an offer that's on its way with the Knight of Cups. There's an offer that's in motion. Someone is moving towards an empress with an offer. And the barriers that were put in someone's path is being laid to rest. So the barriers that were being put in a divine femme's path are, are being stopped. And justice is going to be made right. Okay, so there's something imbalanced here, Libra energy. Something needs to be balanced out. The high priestess in the reverse. Somebody was really dark. Somebody acted like they were holding an honorable position um this could be priestess or priest you know masculine or feminine um, but this person could have been doing dark arts or um, something like that um like a dark practitioner somebody who holds spiritual knowledge um but they use whatever knowledge that they have for personal gain and for themselves so this is a very manipulative energy somebody who's not very trustworthy And when someone was at the crossroads and made a decision, somebody made a really bad decision with the Two of Swords here. Especially to come up against a Divine Femme. An Empress. And there's going to be a permanent ending here. Ten of Swords. So something is permanently over because of a decision that somebody made. And then we have the King of Swords here. So because somebody walked away, because the Divine Femme could have walked away, there could be a judgment or something going in their favor. So the truth is being spoken about someone creating an imbalance by trying to keep someone bound, trapped, or stuck. This could be in a physical prison um, or jail or, you know, mental... Um, physical or mental jail or prison but uh, somebody was causing imbalances intentionally to keep a divine femme stuck because they thought they were going to get something out of this this could also be a king of swords um, truth being brought out you could be speaking the truth out about what happened because someone rushed in with some lies i said that earlier with the knight of swords in the reverse even though it was the page of swords somebody rushed in with some bullshit lies to create an imbalance and keep someone bound and trapped and stuck and this is over their lies are being exposed they're being seen for the liar that they are somebody could portray themselves as if they are someone who is in the upright someone who is very truthful and honest but this person is very deceptive and there's a lot of battles and conflict going on because of this page of sword this message of lies and about someone not receiving some sort of recognition it's like somebody wanted to um, character assassinate another person here they didn't want someone to be recognized or seen 
And so someone sent messages of lies, communicated lies, so that someone would not receive some sort of recognition or accolades or um, just anything. Like, just... Jeez. Somebody made up a lot of lies about another person. A divine femme energy. So that they wouldn't get anything. Like, and when I say anything, I mean friends, um, support, help. Um, there was a lot of shady, shady ass lies here that were told about a divine femme so that no one would help this person. Somebody said that something felt like it was love at first sight, or you felt that way about someone else. You need to use your intuition and cut someone off. So somebody said that they felt like something was love at first sight, whether it was you or somebody else. And you need to cut this person off because they're being shady. They're coming as if they're telling the truth. As They're coming to you as if they're the king of swords and the upright. But they're actually in the reverse. This person's a liar and they're being two-faced. And this person is not strong. They're a coward. They wanted you to be broke. You know, you needed, you may have needed to watch your spending because this person wanted you to be broke and stuck and penniless. And they want you to feel like you're holding yourself back, but you're not. So this person's gaslighting you, coming to you as if they're caring and like, oh, I'm just telling you the truth. I just want what's best for you. But they're gaslighting you and trying to make you think that something is your fault when it was actually their fault because they were out in the community spreading all these lies about you so no one would help you or see the truth about who they are. This was not a twin flame or that if they were, um, I mean, this could have been a twin flame, but it's a bad one. It's a karmic. And they slept with someone that you don't know. So this twin flame that you were dealing with was sleeping with somebody that you didn't know. And they're trying to cover something up. A bald spot is hard to cover up. They're under an illusion. So they're, they're under an illusion. They have placed themselves under an illusion, especially if they're a practitioner and they're doing any sort of spell work. They believe their own bullshit or there's someone who is believing their bullshit don't give up on your dream someone wants you to give up on what you're doing you're in your life's calling you're building a legacy and someone's desperate someone is desperate to get you out of what you're doing because you see the truth you could be a seer you could have the gift of sight you could have psychic abilities you know something like that you see people for who they are and this person is desperate And once again, they were being two-faced and they are being two-faced. That's because someone's guilty. Someone's being found guilty of something. Someone wants you to feel like they have a connection with you, but they're lustful. They, they were just looking for a booty call. They were just sleeping with someone for the benefits. It wasn't serious. They didn't think that there were going to be any consequences for their lustful behaviors. They didn't think they were going to get caught. They were confused because they thought they were too blessed to be stressed. They thought they were never going to get caught. So they're confused as to how they're getting caught with something. Um, and someone's getting released from jail. This could be you being released from a negative situation, being released from jail. Or somebody has been physically locked up. Someone could actually get arrested for what they've done. Someone has lost their grip, okay? So someone could have lost their grip with reality. Someone could have snapped. Um, they, uh, 
they showed their little ass, okay? So this person's mask fell off and their attitude came through. So if this person was questioned about what they did or questioned about some sort of lie that they told, their mask fell off and they snapped and they became aggressive towards somebody. This could be somebody who was investigating or just looking into something because they're, like I said earlier, there were three guys here, powerful people within the community um, or within an organization that were meeting up and discussing something about what's going on. Now, if someone doesn't think something's a very big deal, big, fat, hairy deal, but they're in for a rude awakening. <coughs> they thought that they got away with covering up their illegal activities, but they're a fool. They're a joker. They're not getting a clean slate. This person has to pay for what they've done. Procrastinators of the world unite. So something has happened really slowly. People were procrastinating about coming together, getting the facts. Um, you could have even procrastinated about speaking out about what happened, and so that could have been a reason that things were slowed down, or you didn't get justice in a timely manner, uh, maybe because there's some sort of action that you need to take, or a police report that needs to be filed, something like that, and it didn't get done, and so now you may have to go back and do that so you can receive some sort of justice here, because somebody was trying to keep someone trapped in a very shitty situation in that litter box and someone was a control freak and somebody was obsessed with doing this to another person willpower is overrated uh, but this person could be uh, weak they could be in bad health they could be losing their willpower they could be getting sloppy i'm getting that they're getting sloppy this is someone who pretended to take care of you but in an effort to take care of you they were trying to trap you and somebody thinks they have an ace up their sleeve. Somebody thinks they're being really sneaky about something. Um, and somebody is scared. So somebody thinks they're being really slick here about wanting to come towards you. But somebody knows that this person wanted to come towards you. So I feel like someone's holding some sort of leverage over another person's head here. This illegal activity, um, this partnership that was taking place behind the scenes with that moon card, the Scorpio energy, um, especially with something being illuminated, somebody freaked out when they realized that somebody wanted to come towards a divine femme or masculine, and they started doing really shady shit to this person to keep them trapped and stuck because they don't want another person coming towards a divine, per yeah, divine femme or masculine. And so they started doing some really shady shit to this person. A cancer could be significant. A cancer could be in hot water because of what they've done. Because of the role that they played in this. Someone's getting caught in the crossfire and they didn't expect it. Um, they're happy, happy-go-lucky. So someone's very happy right now because they think they got away with something but they're actually about to get caught in the crossfire. So somebody who is, um, you know, relaxed, they could be chilling at home, and all of a sudden the police bust in on their ass. Um, there's something significant about a Thursday and a Leo. And then um, Friday. So there could be something significant about Friday here. Someone being happy and finding out they're getting caught in the crossfire. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and May. So there's something significant about a Thursday, a Leo, and a water sign in May. Then we have a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, that is significant. That came out sideways, and someone's holding a grudge. So someone could be holding a grudge against a fire sign, or there could be a fire sign that's holding a grudge, possibly against a water sign. Oh, because we had the Leo out in the reverse. Okay, so there's a fire sign here who has an axe to grind against a water sign. So Aries Leo Sag is um, out for some sort of vengeance against the water sign here. So somebody was being watched with Eagle Eye in the reverse. So somebody was being watched with the Eagle Eye dark before the dawn to keep them from coming out of a dark place. 
to keep them trapped, to keep them crying, sad. Someone is not going to be having fun. Fun in the sun is in the reverse here. So someone's not getting their moment of glory here. They tried to rip someone off. They're going to be crying because this is a situation of the blind leading the blind. These people should have thought twice before they did some karmic shit to a divine. And they were passionate about this. This person who was bad to the bone was very passionate about destroying a divine femme or masculine. I keep getting the energy of a divine femme, but it can go, you know, it can be for a masculine as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody, I'm going to do the reversals first since the last ones were reversals. So this is someone from your past, a blast from the past. Someone from your past is shady as fuck, okay? Someone spilled the beans. And someone's not getting their moment of truth, moment of glory. So someone is speaking the truth out about this person who is passionate about hurting another person. So like I said, there's communication going on. And someone is, you know their memory is being jogged someone's having memories about something and they're spinning their wheels they can't believe that they didn't see something so this could be the group of people who are talking those three masculine energies that are talking um these people in a in a leadership position here or leadership positions <coughs> are remembering something <clears throat> someone is as poor as a church mouse that came out sideways so someone is either headed into poverty or they are in poverty and this has someone someone's ancestors rolling over in their grave because they're shady as fuck so someone is shady as fuck for trying to put someone in a state of poverty or they did put someone in a state of poverty and somebody's ancestors are like okay this shit this it's not sliding anymore there's some shady shit going on here, and they're going to step in, and balance needs to be restored in this. Someone is seeing eye to eye so someone is starting to see things your way um their memory has been triggered you know it's like they're remembering something that you said or some you know maybe you made a report in the past or something something could be related to court they thought that it would be like stealing candy from a baby so somebody thought you'd be an easy target they know someone is trying to steal from you and there's a twist of fate coming because of something significant that happened in june And someone is trying to control you by keeping you in poverty under his or her thumb. So that is a control tactic. Better late than never. And kiss and make up. So something significant could have happened in June where someone tried to kiss and make up with you. You knew they were being shady. Um, this person's going to lose their temper. They're going to lose their shit. They're going to snap when they realize that they don't have control over you or the situation. And they can't cover up their illegal activities. It's being exposed. And I feel like someone's going to get raided or someone's going to get busted in on and they're not going to see this coming. And there's a Leo here. Start from scratch like father like son. So there's a masculine Leo here that wanted you to start over or they had to start over because of what they did to a divine femme. So, Leo, Leo, Leo keeps coming out, fire sign, but Leo is very heavy in this. Yeah, there's a couple here who are scared. Gee, I wonder why, karmic shady ass people. 
So there could be a masculine and feminine here in the reverse who are scared about the consequences for what they've done because the truth is being exposed about the rules they played to hurt a divine femme. Someone's spell work is backfiring big time. Like, there's some magic spell work. There's some legit spell work here. Someone's spell work's backfiring here. So somebody thought they were hurting somebody else. They were ripping someone off. Karma's coming back and whooping their ass and shrinking their little ass head. They thought that they had a big head. They thought they were so smart. Um, they're, they're really not going to see this karma coming. Someone's putting on a show. Someone's acting like this is a fucking carnival. This is not Six Flags, okay? Someone wants to help. Someone knows what's going on, and they want to help. Someone got ghosted here, and they've been watching you and trying to destroy you ever since. So you could have ghosted this person because you knew that they were trying to hurt you. <clears throat> or they ghosted you, and they've been watching you, and doing spell work on you and thinking you're not going to notice what they've been doing. They're still talking shit. They're still doing spells. I mean, this is a high priestess, high priest in the reverse. This is a dark practitioner. This is somebody that you could have been married to. They portray themselves to be an upstanding person in the community where there's somebody who is going to be an upstanding person in the community, but they're pissed off. Someone is pissed off. And it's like someone is in a state of disbelief. Someone is shocked. And there's a karmic person here, this high priestess, this, this couple here, they celebrated too soon and their mask fell off. They were wearing a disguise. They wanted you in poverty. Somebody thought by pretending to help you and misleading you, misdirecting you, that there was going to be some sort of success here, but this person was dark and you caught on to this. So somebody who acted like they were wanting to help you is actually very dark and shady. And this person um, had very bad intentions for you. And now this person's scared because you caught on. You figured it out. Okay? Okay. So you know what's going on, and you walked away from this person. So you go to this person because you knew that they were wearing a disguise. You knew that they were hiding, possibly even the fact that they were in poverty. This person could, you know, get money in very shady ways, and they were working with somebody else. All right, let's pull some letters here to close this out. <clears throat> All right, person, place, or thing could be significant. The letter I. I'm hearing private eye. They're watching you, watching you. Yep, and then I just pulled a P. <laughs> These private eyes are watching you. They see your every move. <laughs> w. I'm hearing pew, pew, pew. Even though that's not how you spell pew, pew, but I'm hearing pew, pew, pew. Oh. G. A. This one's stuck in my hand. Y. I'm hearing yeah, yeah. V. E. Do one more. And G again. So P I W O G um, Y A V E G. I hope this helps. Have a good day.